Thanks everyone. Come back for another segment of the MCR. Mac is to my left in his very, very nice uh, MCR jersey there. Hockey jersey. Yeah. And uh, and my name's TJ in the really nice black and red flannel shirt that I got for Christmas. So in this segment, I just. Uh, a little bit of a, a light-hearted one here, kind of, sort of, with, with some serious uh, thoughts. You know, if you're like me, you listen to talk radio at some point, uh, you know, and, and we all have our favorites, and and you listen to some, for, for instance, in the morning, I listen to Hugh Hewitt for lack of a better selection, okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, if there was someone better than Hugh Hewitt to listen to, I wouldn't be listening to Hugh Hewitt, okay? And, and I, yeah, I know uh, with my unlimited data on my phone, I could uh, stream something else. But, but if you're driving, it's just easier to hit the AM button, okay? Yeah, right. All right. So, in any event, I'm listening to Hugh Hewitt. And I've heard this on other shows. I've seen it on Fox News. And, you know, they talk about gold, buying gold, buying gold. you got to buy gold because uh, the, what if the economy crashes? Uh, you'll have something that, that has uh, sustained its value. And, and, you know, for the record, I am anything but uh, uh, a financial consultant. If, if, any, if anything, I'm in need of one. But, you know, as... And we've always we've always said here on this channel we're we're just average guys, you know. I, you know, I, I might have a few silver coins at ho at home, you know, uh, that either I've come across or been given to me or handed down, you know, uh, as an heirloom, you know. So so you know, and and you think, yeah, I think I'll hold on to these because who knows how much they'll be worth in five, ten years, right? You know what? You uh, might might need to uh, melt them down into a silver bullet in case uh, there's a werewolf breakout. Yeah, but, <clears throat> you know, on, on, on the radio, Hugh Hewitt, Fox News, you know, you hear about buy and go, buy and go. And, you know, because, you know, and, and again, from what I understand, and I know he'll correct me if I'm wrong, which is cool. Only when he's wrong. Only when I'm wrong. Uh... You know, you, you, you buy gold, as inflation goes up, the gold still has substantial worth, uh, which I guess at any point you cash it in. But, but, here, but here's, here's where the common guy starts wondering what the heck is going on. Okay, you buy gold, well, well where is it? Do you have it in your closet? Do, do you have it in a desk drawer? Do you have it in your garage? Or is it in some vault in another state that someone says to you online or in an email or something, oh yeah, you got this amount of gold, we got it tucked away for you. Or 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 maybe you have it in a bank vault. Okay? But and this you, is you then don't even have access to it. Coming to my point, if if you buy gold and it's not in your possession, do you really have it? I mean, you you would surely hope you didn't waste your money. Well, you know? they always here's the thing. Here's where I take issue with, the, and it's you know not just Hugh Hewitt to be fair. It's uh, Glenn Beck does it. Oh yeah, Beck all has of been them. doing all it for of a long time. Fox News less so. Uh, Sean Hannity. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Jan. Uh, you listen to Bongino. I I'm not in the car when he's on. So, so they all say they all present the premise that uh, not so much as an investment. As in, when the stuff hits the fan, you're going to need gold because, uh, you know, that's what's going to be traded. You and I are not believers in that. Well, nor is Dave Ramsey. This, and this, this is, this is the point of, of my rambling here. You know, yes, if, if inflation goes up and goes up and goes up, as long as you can get to your gold, you're fine. But what if societal breakdown occurs like that, and you can't get to it? And you know what? Just re remember, remember uh, what uh, uh, twelve years ago when we had that massive power outage in the whole entire Northeast. Two thousand three. Well, what if you had something tucked away in a vault? Well, you ain't getting it. Right. You ain't getting it. What I'm saying is, is 
if you don't have it in your possession, do you really, you know, possession is nine-tenths of the law, ha, 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 you know? Yeah, right. But, you know, but if you well, don't what percentage have it, non possession? Yeah, if you don't have it, do you really have it? Now, I, I, I Mac and I both uh, have listened occasionally to a man by the name of Dave Ramsey, and I heard him talking about gold ownership once, because because he was talking about this, and he goes, he goes, yeah, he says uh, you could you could invest in a little bit of it. He, he goes, he goes, and I don't remember his exact wording here, so if, so I, I I'm I, I'm going to hope to get this accurate to what he was trying to say, but he goes. He goes, don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you think buying gold is going to be your financial safety net, you're wrong. He goes, he goes, you know what you might want to get? You might want to buy some of this. He goes, that's what you might want to buy. And I thought, you know, in case you can't tell, this is a 40 caliber cartridge, okay? Uh, and I thought, here, here we have a financial guy saying, you know what? Maybe buying ammunition is more prudent than buying gold. Right. And, and I thought, well, you know what? As a common guy, I can do that. And you know what? I have done that. Well, let me say this about the people who are what I call hawking the gold thing. The Glenn Beck, millionaire. The Sean Hannity, millionaire. Oh, yeah. The Dennis Prager. Well, they're all millionaires. They're, they're Dan Bongino, millionaire. They're all millionaires. So yeah. it's easy for them to say because they're going to be set. I just, you know, and, and of course, if you had ammunition, if if, if you're like me, I it's 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 uh, it, it's either under your bed or in your closet or 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 who knows where. But you know what? You got it, and you know where it is, and you know how you're going to get to it. You know how you're going to access it, and you know what? There's a certain amount of it. I think you're going to get access to pretty damn quick if you're prudent. You know, right? So you know, I guess the big question is. What's in your man cave? Okay? What's in your man cave? I just uh uh or your chick cave. Yeah, you know, or your chick cave. Uh you your know you, you talk about precious metals. Well, you know, this might be the most precious metal of all. Here's what I can tell you, know? you. If you've got uh if you haven't had a drink of water in in a couple of days, it only takes three days to die of thirst, by the way. If you, if you hadn't had a drink in a couple of days, might you trade me some of that ammo or certainly some of the gold if you had it for that drink of water? Because you know what? Everything you have doesn't matter. You could have a million guns and a billion rounds of ammo and all the gold stacked around me that I could, you know, you couldn't see me with so much of it. If you don't have that water, you're going to die. Yeah. Uh you know, I you know, and you bring up a point. How many of these would it take in a barter system, in a in a barter society? How many of these would it take to buy a loaf of bread? How many? You know what? Maybe maybe one is all it takes to get the loaf of bread. You know, well we know that from uh, scripture that man cannot live on uh, bread alone, or, so, or or ammunition, I guess. But uh, uh, ammunition's a big head. Start. I can do without bread. In fact, I'd probably do better without bread. But this, I got to have. Uh, you know, and and, and to I'm, defend my bread. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna swerve slightly off topic here because I'm I'm thinking in terms of uh, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of the zombie apocalypse. Uh, I, I mean, I because I keep thinking if it all crashes down and your gold is in another state that someone else has taken care of. I don't see how you're getting Who's it. Who's to say they I can don't. even take care of it if the government yeah. mandates to them that they turn it into the into the, all yeah. into the you know that happened in I think it was in the 30s with yes. Frank, with uh, President Roosevelt. They said turn in all your gold, and people had to do it. Of course, some people didn't do it, uh, but but people on, on the in the large did it. And and you know as 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 we wrap up here, I would just like to uh, throw into this whole uh, segment here, you know. In a lot of urban cities, you have what is referred to as an underground economy. Okay. And, and I saw a news report years ago, and when I say years ago, I mean like 10 to 20 years ago, and, and it, they were talking about the underground economy in Detroit, and that was in the millions of dollars, okay? Yeah. Uh, you know, people conducting business, paying each other under the table, 
uh, without without any. It's referred to as the ebony market. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, or, or the underground economy. Right. But uh, uh, you know, it you know, getting around taxes and 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 black marketeering and whatnot, and uh, and you know. I, the reason why I the reason why I reference that is is because if we did find ourselves in a zombie apocalypse, it's go, the underground economy is going to become the way we all do. Better. Or a globalist apocalypse, you know? Yeah, a globalist Which is apocalypse. what it's going to be. But but this this underground economy is going to become the way of life, uh, and 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 them guys are going to have a have a head start on us in some regard, I would think. But you know, for a common man like me. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna be the precious metal I I uh, I kind of key on here. Okay. Yeah. So that's all I wanted to say. You know what? Uh, as I said earlier, uh, what's it? What's in your man cave? All right. That's all I got. Or anything? anything? We don't want to keep the ladies out. We got quite a few lady viewers, and the, many of them are shooters and and patriots. So we want to keep that in there. Okay. What's what's in your metro man cave? Okay. <laughs> Metrosexuals. All right. No one's watching at this time anyways, I don't think. Anyways, uh, uh, we'll catch you all later for those who are. As always, be safe. Watch your six and don't tread on me.